let us solve a problem on measurement and errors the question is as follows an experiment is performed to obtain the value of acceleration due to gravity g by using a simple pendulum of length l in this experiment time for 100 oscillations is measured by using a watch of least count 1 second and the value is 90 seconds the length l is measured by using a meter scale of at least count 1 mm and the value is 20 cm then what is the error that is found while determining the value of g yeah so we need to find error in g we know the expression for a time period of a pendulum yeah oscillations of a pendulum is time period t is equals to 2 pi into root l by g yeah so that implies t square is equals to 4 pi square l by g yeah so where t is the time period and l is the length of the pendulum and g is acceleration due to gravity okay so now from this expression for g is g is equals to 4 pi square l by t square yeah so whenever we have a property z and that is equals to a power m into b power n or a power m by b power n okay so the error relative error in z is given as m into delta a by a plus n into delta b by b so this is the formula whenever we have a property and that is a uh, product of few other properties in the powers yeah so this is the expression this is the formula that we need to use so using this in for the expression g yeah we have delta g by g is equals to delta l by l yeah plus 2 delta t by t so using the same expression yeah yeah so 4 pi square is constant and we have l by t square yeah so l power 1 by t square so of this form yeah yeah so this is the formula yeah so now delta l what is delta l delta l is the least count of the measurement yeah in measuring the length so that least count is 1 mm yeah so that is 0.1 cm by length is 20 cm plus 2 into delta t so the least count is of measuring of time is given as 1 second yeah so 1 divided by t is 90 seconds yeah so that is 0. Double zero five, and this is zero point zero two two two. Yeah, so that is equals to zero point zero two seven two. Yeah, so this is the relative error in uh, determining the g. Yeah, so. So this is the relative error, and if you want a percentage error, that is into hundred. So that is two point seven two percent. So this is the percentage error. This is the relative error. Okay, yeah. So that is the solution.